My name is Hex, and I apologize. Four months ago. Alright then. I must say, it's good to be back, but this is weird. I have not recorded a video in a very long time. Whatever. I'm... whatever. Whatever. Welcome to this very special video. I bet you all are wondering what I'm going to be doing as my first video back. If you'll notice, on my channel, right here, what does that say? 90 nine videos. Throughout the course of my channel's life, I have made 99 YouTube videos. Some good, some bad, some very so-sos, and some very sus ones. But today, we are going to be taking a look back at the Hex channel, and we are going to be ranking every single one of them. What I have in front of you is a tier list comprised of every single Hex video that I have ever made, from 1 to 99. No, I am not pulling your leg. This is gonna be a long one. We got Monster. That's what this is, it's a monster. We have Starvation. I haven't eaten in a very long time. And we have Hex, rusty as hell. I have no idea how to transition into starting this video other than just starting it. So let's go ahead and get started with how I started. Trying Yoru for the first time. So obviously this is the first video I've ever edited and the first video I've ever uploaded to the Hex channel. The first video made with excellent care and quality. Well, maybe not quality. I do have a few YouTube videos before the Yoru one, but I didn't edit them. I really didn't know how to fully make a proper video. I was still a little bit confused a little bit new, but for a first video, this one will always hold a special place in my heart. And a special place in the Hex collection. It also established my love for Yoru in Valorant. For a first video, it's honestly not that bad. And I definitely would have to put it in my personal favorites. Now for a first video, that one's pretty good. So how good is my second video, you might ask? BAD! Reacting to a streamer play against me, is an eh video with bad quality, and yeah. It's got a lot of memories, but nah. This is a very mid video that I don't regret making, but it's definitely worse than my first video, which is surprising. That's not usually how this goes. Like I said, I don't regret making it, but it's definitely an eh video that I would definitely not recommend. And the memories associated with it are a bit much. Don't ask. I didn't even mention, this is the Valorant phase. I made videos on Valorant back in the day. Next up, we got the Sheriff Only Challenge number one. The Sheriff Only Challenge one is just, it's bad. Oh my gosh, I suck. Not only do I suck at editing and audio mixing, but my gameplay is laughable. Just, good lord. How did, how do I, how do I suck that bad? I don't know. Just right there. I'm actually, I, I'm gonna be rating these based off of the tiered. This one's better than this one, but oof. That's all I'm gonna say, oof. Phasmophobia with randoms, number one. This one has a lot of memories in it. Waluigi board, Waluigi corner, Neom guy, an important lesson about your mic. Good Lord, my mic. If you haven't watched this video, uh, my mic sensitivity was at like 1%, so you literally could like barely hear me in the video. Regardless of that though, the interactions with the other people are top notch. And also the thermometer bit is hilarious. And also this is literally just me now. It's on the board, when it hits 4 on the board, it's um... With the MF5, if it's just a straight, uh, if activity jumps up four, it's the MF5. I'm very happy I made these videos as like a memory of the phasmophobia we once had. I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually really like phasmophobia. You'll see it a lot kind of just appear in my channel as we go through this list. But yeah, this is, this is a pretty okay video. I'd still recommend it despite what happens with my mic because there is a lot of bits in there that are just pretty good. And that little gap is pissing me off a lot. 
but I'm gonna ignore that. Phasmophobia with randoms 2. This video is decent fun. The randoms aren't as funny, but the editing was pretty okay. It's just a, it's just an okay video. I think I'll put it on the same tier as this one, but which one's better? That's actually a really good question. This one had a lot more funny randoms, but this one had hex. Like he actually talked in the video and you could hear him. This one's funnier. Actually, you know what? This this one's funnier. This one's funnier. Okay, the sheriff only challenge two. This video actually shows better than the first one. What does that even mean? It's a pretty decent showing of my skill. The editing is actually tied in pretty decently. And Hex in the recording bay actually did a decent job of making things funny. It's actually a really decent video despite it being so early in my channel's history. Like this is only the sixth video and I think it's actually pretty good. So I'm just going to put it probably right here. It's definitely, it's definitely like at the top of the decent videos. Okay. Here we have trying Astra for the first time. This video was the first introduction of the impact font. Hex is confused. There's some decent plays in there from me. Hex is being toxic in Valorant. Hex is just goofy. Really the only downside I can think of is I didn't really know how to end videos at the time. But other than that, honestly a great video. Very entertaining if you enjoy me as a screaming guy. And you don't mind a lower quality watch because obviously this is still a very early video. But this video is pretty good. I'm honestly gonna put it right here. Maybe towards the bottom, but that's a really good one. I liked that one a lot. Now before we get to the Yoru Showdown, uh, I should probably briefly explain something. Something that came up a lot in the Astra video. Um, <laughs> my uh, quote unquote brief Reina stint. So uh, obviously I played Valorant a lot back in the day. I think that's something you'll notice the more you watch these older videos, if you go back and watch the Valorant videos. I played Valorant a lot. It was basically the game I played like primarily. And at the time I made a lot of jokes. They weren't really shown off too much in the videos, but just me playing Valorant, one of my primary jokes that I would go back on was Reyna. If you don't know who that is, Reyna is a character inside of Valorant who is, um, uh, how do I put this? A little crazy and a little insane, but she's hot. All you really need to know is she's very thick and very nice looking. It's kind of like a half joke, half not joke. I mean, she's a character that feeds on people's souls and is definitely evil, no matter how she looks. But honestly, this joke was pretty decent. I should have incorporated it more in the videos. Unfortunately, my friends were the one who took the brunt of the Reyna jokes. It wasn't until later that I realized how funny the joke was and how I can put that on my YouTube channel and have like a reoccurring joke like that. Much like what I did later with a certain animatronic wolf. We'll get to you. All you really need to know is hot woman, uh, evil. Uh, hex, uh, heart emoji. That's a good enough summary, right? Okay, so the Yoru Showdown is a very chaotic video with some meh editing. It's an all right recording and it features Aiden for the first time on my channel, which is good. If you don't know who Aiden is on my channel, I, I just let uh, die. Though I probably wouldn't recommend you watch this video. It's not good. It's better than those two though. The ghost only challenge. Oh my god, this is a banger video. Holy hell, the editing, the commentary, the everything, me devolving into using a vandal because I'm just so pissed off. It was such a good video. I honestly love this video so much. Genuinely, if you wanna watch Hex playing Valorant, this is the one. This is, this is the one you need to watch. I love this video. I was really starting to catch my style here. Personal favorites tier, the low econ challenge. This is a great video, except for the fact that it pisses me off. The production on this one is just infuriating. There's two editing mistakes right in the beginning, and there's a loud buzz on my audio track throughout the whole thing. Other than that, the video is pretty good. Very solid. I made some good funny plays, some good funny edits. All around a very good video that I'm very proud of. 
I also started doing this thing where I would groan like this. And I don't remember why I did that in this video and why I stopped doing that. I honestly have no idea and I don't even know if I could make this sound right now if I tried. Oh. Okay, never mind, I can. Right there. Okay, trying KO for the first time. I played horribly, my teammates were bad, but hey, at least the cuts are good. <laughs> I was still figuring out how to edit at this point and how to record, but it's an I video. Put it right, right there. Okay, the first Minecraft parkour, also known as I challenged my friends to a Minecraft parkour. Here's the thing, this is a great video if you want to know who my friends are and see me interact with them, but honest to god, this video makes me die. <laughs> the edits on it are just scream worthy, my own commentary was shit, the overall presentation is just bad. There's a lot better Minecraft parkour video on my channel with a lot better editing. You can do yourself a favor by watching that one and not this one. Also, Konosuba. I don't want to put it in why did I make this, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it. However, the first Minecraft parkour was the first introduction of the Hex outro music that everyone loves. So it does get credit for that. Does it get credit for anything else? Absolutely not. Moving on immediately. The random weapon challenge number one. I honestly can't remember what this video is actually called. This is a great video. Honest to God, I love this video to this day. The interaction with Aiden and the gameplay being like top notch and the edits are actually kind of good. I love this video. Like I genuinely do. I love this video. This, this is another personal favorite of mine. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. It's just a good video. Go watch it. The Random Weapon Challenge 2. Okay, so Ronan, also known as Asvale, also known as Noah on my channel. What the hell is his name? I don't know. He showed up in this video. And this one is another great video. There's a few editing mistakes here and there, but the content matters more specifically in this one because it's a great video. I highly recommend it. Noah and Aiden made it so much funnier. Huge shout out to them. This video would not have been as good as it is if it was not for them being in it. It's not as good as the other one, but it's still very good. Unfortunately, this video does end the, uh, the, the Valorant era, which is a bit unfortunate. I really enjoy the Valorant era, but it's over now. Moving on to a different era, which I'll explain in a minute. The new Phasmophobia update with Aiden. Okay, this is a decent video with decent editing. Kind of starting to get a groove into the Hex format, so that's a good thing. This one also features Aiden, so that's pretty cool. He helped me make the video decent for sure. I would recommend it, but it's kind of eh. And it's not exactly a quick watch. This is a 30 minute long video. I, I think it's probably somewhere along the lines of like... <sighs> it's hard. It's hard to rank it. It's hard to rank it. It's definitely better than the Yoru Challenge and the first Minecraft parkour. I think I'm gonna put it right there. I, th I, I don't think I would recommend it. It's not like a, uh, it's not an amazing video, but it's not a bad video. You know what, you know, you know what, you know what? I think it at least deserves a recommendation. I wouldn't recommend it, but maybe you'll enjoy it. Okay, and now we arrive at, why didn't anyone tell me about this? Good. God! Okay, so the editing is pretty good. The voiceover is not. This video did not properly explain anything to the viewer. Or show people anything. And it also started Hex's arguably worst arc, the Task Manager arc! Good lord, these are all blurred. So if you aren't a long-time viewer on my channel, you might not even know who this stupid blue cat is. And I don't need you to know. But, since this video is celebrating my past, we need to talk about Task Manager. Before Ruin Roxanne, and the Roxanne cooking, and the Roxanne head pats, we had Task Manager. Boy, did we have Task Manager. 
The task manager sickness was real. I was even warned about it in the video, and it got me. It really did. I swear to God, if I didn't know myself, I'd say I was a furry. Somehow, this stupid blue cat overtook my entire personality. I joked about her constantly. I made videos about her. I went way too far, some may say. I'm not convinced I didn't go off the deep end for a bit there. It got to the point where I couldn't even boot up the program task manager without laughing. I still laugh at that stupid program. I was maniacal. I printed off a picture of her and framed the damn thing. I need like a psychologist to analyze where I went wrong with this stupid cat. Or a psychiatrist. Or just someone. A therapist. I don't know. Needless to say, if you think me screaming at Roxanne is classified as simping, I can't even imagine the destruction task manager would have incurred. Okay, but seriously, don't watch this video. It will give you brain rot, and I do not encourage any video from the quote-unquote hex glory days. Honest to God, I nearly died watching this video back. Why did I make this? I don't know. On a lighter note, pyrocynical logic. This is literally like the only meme video I've put on my channel. I gotta give myself props for this one. It's pretty good. It's like 19 seconds. You might as well just go watch it. You might laugh. I'm gonna put it in there just because it's a, it's a good video. Okay, and here we get to the worst fate imaginable. The Deltarune playthrough. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, that's right, I played Deltarune. I played Deltarune Chapter 2 to find Task Manager. Don't ask. This video is okay with some really bad mixing and some really boring hex. My Deltarune playthrough doesn't even get good until like episode 4 when Task Manager shows up. And even that is just underwhelming. So yeah, this video is just eh. Which is kind of my opinion of the whole Deltarune playthrough. Except for when I'm screaming a task manager. We're gonna put this one... there. When will I see my beloved, I believe is the name of this episode. This one is nothing special. I always thought this one was kind of mid, even when I made it and published it. I mean, there's some good jokes in it, but it really just feels eh. And I can't quite explain it. It kind of follows the same train as the other episodes of they're okay, but don't watch them. Worse, worse than the first part, if, I, if I'm being honest. Okay, I think this one is called How Much Longer Until I See My Beloved. If I remember correctly, this one is not great. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say about it. It, it kind of follows the train as the other ones. It's probably better, but I wouldn't say that's me. I think it's just because the game got funnier. The editing and the recording is probably about the same. The jokes are about the same. So we're going to rate it the same. We're going to put it right there because I do think this one's a little better than this one. Just for the sole reason of Spamton. And Spamton funny. Okay, now we have Is That. I'm pretty sure this one is literally called Is That dot 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 question mark. This one is only good because it introduced the omnipotent force known as Editing Hex. Editing Hex is an unhinged madman who calls out Recording Hex on such bullshit, and it's great. With the introduction of him, it makes the videos a lot funnier, and it makes Recording Hex look stupid. Other than that, the video's only good part is the back half. This video is pretty boring and sucks until like 15 minutes in, and then I get to the palace, and the video gets pretty good. And the ending is just so f funny. The painting is, it's not spelled that way. Like, I know Task Manager is a dead joke at this point, but that ending bit is so funny. I recommend it purely based off of editing hex and the ending joke. That's it. Okay, and then we have um, My Beloved, which is a great thumbnail. That's a good one, Hex. And that's being genuine. That's actually kind of a really good thumbnail. Uh, this video contains Task Manager. Obviously, funny interactions arise from that. It's funny. The rest, however, falls into the pit of not great, much like the whole series. However, this one actually does have a valid excuse. While I was editing this video and putting a lot of time into it because it was the task manager episode, my power shut off. 
and I lost a good half of the video. So yeah, that was really annoying. However, it taught me a very valuable lesson. Saving after literally every single edit I make on a video with Control S. I literally edit with my fingers on Control S. That is not a joke. I sometimes do it when I'm typing things in a document or sending messages on Discord, it's so bad. That is not a joke. I will type something as a Google search and I will press Control S. The sticker overlay on Discord is a bitch. So this video gets put uh, probably a little bit funnier than that one. Now we get to the finale, question mark. Honest to God, probably the best episode in the Deltarune series. Hex doesn't suck. My edits are all right. The audio mixing doesn't make me want to off myself in Minecraft. So props to myself for actually doing a decent part in the Deltarune series. It only took me until the fucking finale. Even if it isn't the finale, it's just mind-blowing how it took me this long to make a decent part. Honest to God, I'd say this one is watchable, but it doesn't make sense to watch this one unless you've watched the rest of the series. So, yeah, we're gonna put it right there. And now we have the actual finale. Honestly, this video is just a bunch of nothing. There's some good task manager jokes in there and some good edits, but it's just like, why didn't I put this last video and this one together? I honestly don't know what I was thinking. This one is like, it's like, it's like there. Okay, if I had to retroactively wrap up the whole Deltarune playthrough, don't watch it. Good God, you ain't missing much. There's no reoccurring jokes that came out of it. Task Manager already came out before these. There's like three iconic moments in it that are pretty good, but I'm sure there's better things you can do with your life than watch me play Deltarune for three and a half hours. The whole series is just meh. I think watching any other video of mine besides this one would be a better watch. I don't regret making them, but holy sh**. I don't know how my previous videos with Valorant are more entertaining. Okay, and then we get to the final Deltarune video, known as this video is literally just me fighting Task Manager and nothing more. Now I know what you're thinking, and yes, this video is real. This is a 31 minute video of me just fighting Task Manager. This was an hour and a half long recording session where I did nothing but fight Task Manager. And I know you're probably thinking that this video is dumb and stupid and I should put it with the rest of the series. But the edits are good. Hex recording it was actually funny. Editing Hex is pretty funny. The video idea is a bit jank, but there was some genuinely good moments in there. If you want to see a degenerate Hex who stumbles through the task manager encounter for 40 times longer than it was intended to be stumbled through, I highly recommend the video. If you don't want that, I still recommend the video. Honestly, besides the whole task manager thing, it's still a very entertaining watch with a very stupid hex. I'm begging you, please, don't thrust me in the battle scene anymore. Actually, don't thrust me anywhere. This one goes in the bottom of that tier. And with that, we wrap up the year with the best of hex 2021. If you're very headstrong about not watching any of my old videos, even the ones I said that are good, I recommend this one. This is a compilation of the best moments from the year, and it's got additional editing in there. It's got some funny funnies, it's got all the stuff you want from 2021 without the garbage. I highly recommend giving this one a watch if you don't want to watch the other videos. If you just want to get a good summary of any reoccurring jokes or any funny moments that happened in the year, that's a really good recommendation. And fair is fair with the 2021 compilations. They are a personal favorite of mine. They give a good summary of everything that's happened in the year, a good summary of the jokes. I, I give this one a good recommendation. I just wanted to say something to conclude the 2021 videos out. You might notice that there's a lot of videos of mine that are in the uh, definitely wouldn't recommend category, with a few of them that are classified as decent videos. As a YouTuber, it's kind of just a natural process that your older videos are gonna suck. You don't really know what you're doing. It's just kind of what happens. But they're bogged down by bad editing, recording mistakes, not being funny, nonsense being left in, stupid nonsensical edits, poor quality jokes, a lack of understanding what to do in the downtime, 
all a bunch of mistakes that kind of hold these videos back from substance. I bet that if I went back and re-recorded a video of me trying KO for the first time, or played through Deltarune, it wouldn't be bad. It would actually probably be pretty good. It's just a natural process of how things work. I put a lot of hours into these videos. Hell, I guarantee that some of these old videos of mine took more time to edit than some of my more modern videos. It's just the natural process of learning how to record and learning how to edit and all those things. I mean, hell, I'm still learning. It's just all about practice. A lot of these videos might be bad, but they helped me get to where I am now. Making these take time, but making them good takes significantly longer. So for anyone out there who's making videos and thinks I'm just absolutely incredible at making videos, I recommend watching some of my early videos to see how bad I was my first time around. It wasn't easy, but three years of dedication to learning and three years of trying my best has led me to this point. It just takes a lot of time patience, and a desire to do so. If I didn't enjoy watching back three hours of security breach footage, I wouldn't have been able to make the series. If I didn't enjoy watching back Deltarune at the time, I wouldn't have made the series. If I didn't enjoy making funny moments funnier or making stupid edits, I wouldn't be making these videos. I love making videos for people to enjoy, not only because I enjoy doing it, but also I love looking back. The memories of these videos are just crazy to me. I can see the editing process in my own videos just watching these back. I can see cracks, I can see when I redid something, or redid a portion of a video. Making these videos is kind of my passion. And it's not that these old videos are bad, they just can be a hell of a lot better. So don't ever get discouraged to make videos just because you can see someone do it better. It takes practice. Trust me. If you don't like editing your own videos and recording your videos, then don't make videos. Cause let me tell you, the hours you put into your videos and the time you spend setting up for recordings, it only goes up from here. Okay, 2022 time! All right, everyone, welcome to 2022, where Task Manager was rampant and Roxanne existed. Here we have the Task Manager NSFW speedrun. I honestly have no words. I, I don't know why I made this video. Like, it, it's funny, but like, why? Why did I make this? It's funnier than that one, though. Uh, Toy Chica Love Taste. I forget the name of this, actually. Hex in the Taste of Love? Hex in the Taste of Love. This video is an introduction to my old good intro. Hey, hey all, Hex here. here. I still like that intro. This is a good video for the most part. The edits are good and the jokes are funny, but holy sh is that intro painful. Three minutes and 45 seconds of worthless, meaningless rambling that no one cares about. And that's not even it. It's only three minutes and 45 seconds until Hex talks about the video. It isn't until five minutes exactly when I play the damn video. Despite the rambling intro, Hex does tie it up quite a bit. There's some funnies in here. Editing Hex knocks it out of the park, as always. There's a few odd jokes in here, but it's all part of the process. Also, this video features Hex saying, all right, bye, as his outro music plays, so... He's getting closer. Also, just to briefly explain something, um, Hotel Mario and Konosuba. I never really explained that as I just kind of glanced over it in the Minecraft part of core explanation. But uh, those were two things that I like to also joke about alongside Task Manager. Hotel Mario is still really funny to me. I quote it very often. And Konosuba was a, a, a long dead joke. That one's dead and gone. Don't even worry about it. I'm just mentioning it because it comes up a few times in these older videos. And I think we're probably going to put this one right here. No, we're going to put it right here. It's better than KO, but I think this one might... No, no, yeah. Twitter and the Hexagon PFPs. I honestly forgot I made this video. Technically the second meme video I guess I ever made, and it's not that bad. The idea behind it is a little stupid, and I think I dwelled on a certain part too long, but hey, it's a good video. I'm glad I made it, and I'd recommend it, but it doesn't even have my voice, so I'm probably just gonna stick it right at the top of this one. And now we arrive at the first Roxanne ASMR 
360 video. Yes, this here tucked away in January of 2022 is the first Roxanne 360 ASMR video. I've been making videos on these a long ass time. So this video actually starts off pretty good. Not too much irrelevant rambling. It gets into the video. Hex actually is kind of funny. He begins his journey of telling Roxanne to stop. Editing Hex has quite a few good lines. The actual editing and cuts are pretty funny. And the best part of this video is that recording Hex kept his energy all the way through. He wasn't just entertaining in the first five minutes. He was good throughout the whole thing. And the video is just good. Honestly, it's, it's really good. The only thing I really dislike about the video is how it starts off with footage of me fighting task manager for the first time. Other than that, it's a great video and probably one of the most highly recommended videos to go get the full Lock Sand lore. And yes, I said Lock Sand. You guys better get that reference. Also, this video ends with Hex saying the line. He says, okay, bye. He doesn't scream it, but he's getting there. I also tried switching up my intro music to just a FNAF one at this point, and I'm glad I went with the other one. This is a great video probably top of yeah top i'd say it's pretty good i'd say it's good it's really this is a really good video the asmr roxanne videos have lore or whatever this one is called this one is great recording hex is funny the edits are good editing hex is funny as always it's just a great video with a great setup i honestly enjoyed watching back this video I used to hate this one for some reason, but I gotta say, this one is just as good as the first one. Like, there's some decent jokes in here. The ending where I cut myself off is cringe, but whatever. All around, another great video, and I'm really happy this is the second episode, because goddamn, is it really funny. We're gonna put it right here. I'd say it's not as good as the first one, just because it, I, the, the ending is really painful, but hey. It is what it is. The weird world of Roxanne headpats. This is the turning point in the Roxanne ASMR series for Hex. He gets a lot funnier, but at the cost of my sanity. This video is also good. It's still got some great edits, still some great jokes. Honestly, a really good job of making these videos funny. And I'm thoroughly impressed at how much I enjoyed watching these back. I thought they sucked, but these are actually really good. I honestly don't even need to say anything else about this video. It's just good. I even said okay bye at the end. I'm still learning to scream it, but it'll get there soon. I'd say this one is better. All right, Roxanne gets real. This video is still good. Some might even call it better because of how screamy I got, but it also features that damn clip of Task Manager again. And honestly, at this point, I realize I should have just cut it out all those years ago. Task Manager clip aside, great video, great editing. Editing Hex is great. It's just a great video. I, I recommend it. I wish the ending was better, but I was still learning, so I give myself grace for just kind of cutting it off without any sort of goodbye. This one goes right there, mainly just because I, I do prefer these thumbnails more. All right, here we have the final Roxanne. End me. This video concluded the Roxanne 360 series for a little bit. The early ones, that is. I made five videos on this series in a row for some reason. I scream a lot more at this video. The edits could have been better, but they're still enjoyable. It is unfortunate that these videos were during the task manager arc. This one is a probably a personal favorite of mine, just for the screams of agony and the desire to die being so strong. As much as I love the other ones, my reactions to the videos inside this episode specifically are definitely my favorite so far. I might not have said okay bye, but at least I used my good outro music. We're gonna put this one right here. And I think we're also gonna bump this one up to right there because this one is really good. Okay, a goofy time in Phasmophobia. This is another short little meme video. Oh my God, I thought I didn't make this many meme videos. This video is actually really funny. It doesn't have me screaming, but if you enjoy me playing Phasmophobia, this one's a banger. It's pretty goofy, like the title says. I highly recommend it. It's a decent little watch. Right there. Hex makes a horrible financial decision. Numero one. This is another decent little video that's not amazing, but it's all right. I mean, I bought the Roxanne U2s in it, so that's pretty goofy. I could have edited it better, but I think I made this thing in like 30 minutes, so yeah. We'll just go ahead and put it... Oh, I think it's reasonable to put it right there. That seems pretty reasonable. 
Okay, Hex plays Brink. This video has some really good editing. Hex really experimented with this one, but unfortunately, I cut out way too much. It was a good attempt at making the video shorter, but I cut out a lot of details that I definitely should have kept in. The viewer of this video does not get a proper explanation for the game or anything like that. The video is still funny, don't get me wrong, but Brink's gameplay is not explained very well, and viewers cannot relate to anything that's happening ever. That being said, it's still a decent video. I think we'll put this one right here. This one's better. Okay, the return of Roxanne. This video kind of has the same issue as the Brink video. I just kind of jumped straight into watching the videos, which I know I've complained about rambling for five minutes before in the intro, but I'd rather have that than no explanation whatsoever. Regardless of the intro, this episode kind of marks my numbness to the Roxanne 360 ASMR videos, the point where I become completely numb to Roxanne head pats. No more screaming, no more coughing, no more me screaming stop. It's terrifying. This one goes right there. The seventh second coming of Roxanne. Great video, better than most. The slow descent into madness again for Hex is really good. There's a lot of good edits in here. He ends it with okay bye and uses the outro music. Like it's slowly getting better and better and slowly getting closer to modern day Hex, albeit a little bit uninteresting on the Roxanne side of things. The videos were just not very interesting, which is probably the reason Monster of Truth stopped making them. We're gonna put this one right yeah. All right, I suffer through an escort mission in Brink. A decent little video, but once again, I didn't explain Brink enough, and a lot of context is cut out from the game, probably because the game doesn't even give a lot of context. I'm glad I made the Brink videos just to kind of have as uh, some memories and jokes but they definitely aren't videos that you have to watch to understand my channel. The two Brink videos just kind of sit as some padding to my collection. I like them, but do I cherish them? Not really. I'd still say you can watch them, but I definitely would not put them higher than this one because this one is better. Hex acquires Task Manager. I made this video in the span of like 20 minutes and honestly, not bad. It's a shame Hex didn't scream and rave and rant about it, but it's pretty all right. It's about task managers, so it loses points for that. But it showed me that I can still make a decent video without shouting. We'll put it next to the other goofy short videos. Hex's triumphant return. Honestly, the editing and scripting on this video is really good. Like, stupidly good. There's one spelling mistake, and that's it. It's a really high quality video that I put a lot of editing into it that I cannot recommend watching. I mean, the entire purpose of this video is just explaining where I was over the summer. I had been working a full-time job with an HVAC internship, and it was long hours, and I got a lot of money from it, but holy damn was it a pain in the ass. Those fuckers worked me way harder as an intern than I get worked now as an apprentice. How, like, how just... How the fuck? Anyway, this video is irrelevant now, with like one decent joke in it. I honestly, I can't even recommend watching this video. It's it's definitely going in the top of eh video, definitely wouldn't recommend, because it's still really well made. But I cannot recommend this video. It, it is literally completely pointless to watch. Hex plays Spelunky and sucks! This video starts off with my stupid intro and also rambling, but this time it's funny rambling. The tutorial had a bit of a hiccup, but the edits are good, Hex is talking well, and it's good. However, the audio mixing on this video makes me want to die. This video does feature Hex saying, okay, bah, in a very loud manner. So he's getting closer. I'd say it's a decent video. We'll, we'll put it right there. Hex is better at Terraria than Magimite. This video is literally only made for the sole purpose of having Terraria on my channel. Honestly, it was a great idea and concept, but not really at the same time. I could have edited it a lot better, and it's not super interesting on its own. But it is Hex playing his favorite game, so if you want to just hear him logic himself through the game, go for it. Watch this. Also, it wasn't the first introduction of Magimite on my channel, also known as Leo. Leo, what the hell? He was in the first Minecraft parkour, but it's the first time I mention his name in the title. So... Also, 
This video is probably the introduction of the best thing to ever happen to Hex. Okay, bye! Yup, this is the first video he did it in. I'd say it's a decent video. Probably worse than the Spelunky one, but it's a decent video. Roxanne the Mega Episode. This episode is a banger. If you guys like modern day Hex, this is it. This is the birth of modern day Hex in my opinion. He screams, he yells, editing Hex is good, the editing is great, minus a few places it could have been better. I'm not kidding, I love this video so much and it's so funny and I love it. I highly recommend this video as an older watch. Genuinely some good stuff in here. This is definitely a personal favorite of mine. Hex did not enjoy playing Phasmophobia. This video is silly. It's another meme -y video, but I highly recommend you check it out because it features Hex dying stupidly because he doesn't know how everything works, but he thinks he knows how everything works. So yeah, good video, great video, awesome. We're gonna put it right there. <laughs> Cooking with Roxanne Wolf. Honest to God, I really want to know what I was thinking when I made this video. It's just not it. Like seriously, the editing is not nearly as good as it should be, and this video just has so much weird dead space. This video has some really good moments in it, but they're obviously overshadowed by the 10 minutes of not as good moments that for some reason got left in. I really don't know, man. I thought coming back to this video that this was one of my best old videos. But man, I think I'd rather watch Trying Yoru for the first time because of the history behind that video. At least this video was the first video that I fully acknowledged how I definitively end my videos, which is saying goodbye in an over-exaggerated fashion. But I don't know, man. Something about this video is just not good. I'd say it's still better than the meme -y videos, but honestly, love taste is just like barely worse than it. The horrifying world of AI-generated Roxanne content. This video is decent. It's a little slower paced and it's got some Roxanne 360 thrown in there because of reasons. And it's got some banger analysis from Hex. It's not as good as the next AI-generated Roxanne video, but it's decent enough. Honestly, I really have to wonder why I didn't just do this more. It was such an easy video to make and react to. The edits were easy and the content just generated for me. And it made for a pretty decent video. If you enjoy the second AI generated Roxanne video, which is the more popular one, definitely check this one out. It's pretty good. I'd go so far as even to put it right here. All right, Phasmophobia with Friends Halloween Edition. This video has some really good moments in it, and it's all around a really good watch. It has my really entertaining friends, Aiden and Leo. It's got a lot of good moments in it. There's some pretty decent editing in it. It could have been better, sure. My audio mixing was a little bit off, but for the most part, this video actually made me laugh at a few jokes that I'd forgotten about. I'd say it's not the best video to meet my friends. The next video does a good job of that, but this video does have some pretty good phasmophobia moments. So if you like the game, definitely go watch it. You'll have a good time. Definitely goes right there. I challenged my friends to a Minecraft parkour again. This video is really good. It features an intro with some decent editing and some so-so scripting, and it actually explains the point of the damn video. I must say, it's definitely an improvement from the last Minecraft parkour. This video is a much better introduction to my friends than probably any other video on my channel. If you want to see an hour and a half of my friends goofing off with some good hex commentary and some good edits, I highly recommend this video. It is a personal favorite of mine and holds a special place in my heart. However, it is not a personal favorite enough to go inside of personal favorites, but I would put it right there. It is a very high quality video that I definitely recommend. And here we come to the end of 2022. Honestly, this video is a great wrap up of the whole year. If there's a few things I can summarize the whole year with, it's definitely the fact that this year was basically a lot of worse modern hex. There's quite a few videos that hold the testament of time so far. Lots of hidden gems and funny moments. There's a lot to find inside of 2022. It's definitely not as iconic as my first year starting out, but I do highly recommend this video. It really summarizes the year very well. And now we arrive at 2023.
All right, new year, old me. This video is a great introduction to 2023, and it kind of starts an era that I like to call pre-Ruin Roxanne 2023. These nine videos right here are like a different breed, and this one is no exception. The edits on this video are incredible. So many small changes I made to my editing process in 2023 that made the editing process just so much easier and look better. It also helps that Hex is actually pretty good in this video. This is definitely one of my finer Roxanne reaction videos. I'd say it made a great conclusion to the, the old Roxanne reaction series. In a sense, I did finish off the original series with this video and started a new one with the, the new Roxanne ones, but I'm very happy this video turned out so well. I'd say it's a personal favorite of mine, but honestly, I'd say it's just a, a very high quality video that I would recommend. This is a really good video. The terrifying world of AI generated Roxanne fetish content. This video is very good. It's short, to the point, and it's funny. There's honestly not much to say about it. It's just a good video. It's got some solid polish. It's a very solid video. I really enjoyed making it and it's got really good pacing. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's one of my shortest reaction style videos that I've made. And I'm not counting the higher quality produced ones that come later. I'd say this one goes right below this one. HVAC Simulator is the greatest game ever made. This is definitely one of the most unique videos I've ever uploaded to my channel. It's got a lot of great jokes in it, but the audio mixing makes me want to die. My voice was far too loud for some reason in the recording. It sounds like I'm screaming into the mic. But other than that, it's a really good video. If you guys want an inside look into what I do for a living, this is a great watch. And even if you aren't, there's enough edits to make you satisfied, I'm sure. I'd say it's a high quality video, but honestly, the audio mixing in it makes me want to die in Minecraft. So it gets top of great. And now we approach, uh, it happened again. Oh. So this is another video that's just stupid. It's basically the task manager one, but better and worse simultaneously. It wasn't nearly as bad as this one, but it makes no sense. The Atomic Heart Twins joke died before it got a chance to be funny, mainly because it was just stupid. At least Task Manager was funny sometimes, and I really tried with it, but it was clear that I just didn't try with this one, which actively makes it worse than the Task Manager arc. I'm really not even gonna bother explaining the Atomic Heart robot ass whatever era because it's just not worth my time. I literally made like two jokes after this video about them. So we're just gonna put it down there. Honestly, it, I think I think the, I think this one's better because it's funnier. I suck at boilers in HVAC simulator. This video is amazing. Honest to God, this is a modern hex video before Roxanne came around. It starts with my iconic intro music. Its editing is phenomenal. Recording Hex did a great job making it funny. I love this video. I just love this video. Definitely a personal favorite of mine, even if it features me claiming to be done with Roxanne and then making a Roxanne video as my next video. It's funny. I highly recommend this video. It is definitely a personal favorite of mine. I'd say probably sitting right about there. That seems reasonable. I'm breaking my promise. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what my friends say or my fans or anyone. This video is great. The pacing is good. The editing is good. Editing Hex is good. Hex is funny recording it. This is an extremely good Roxanne Hex video and I can't say that enough. My friends hated this video when it came out because I promised to them that I would stop doing Roxanne videos. And then turns out April Fools made me change that idea. And that's why the title is also called I'm Breaking My Promise, because it was literally me breaking my promise I made to my friends. And I'm glad I did it too, because look where I am now. In all honesty, this video is great and I'm very proud of it. I highly recommend you watch it. It's not the most high quality video, but it's definitely worth going on the highest quality tier. All right, my promise remains broken. This video is less good than part one. This video has a major downside known as Hex being sick. He just really didn't have the energy in him to make it like super good. It's unfortunate, but hey, at least editing Hex made it better. The video is still good despite the drawback. It's still modern Hex. I still recommend it. Very good, I put it right there. 
Beat to Tower is an amazing game. This video is great, lots of great moments in it, bunch of different jokes, good editing, and recording X is just funny. This is just a good video. I know it's not Roxanne, but if you like my content besides for just Roxanne, definitely give this one a watch. It's really good. I'm gonna put it at the top of great video. It's just well-rounded content. It's just good. And that ends the era known as pre-Ruin Roxanne 2023, because it's time we get to modern day hex. This video is the one. The video that got me the attention and views that you brought to me today. This video was a total experiment. I really had no experience doing a video like this. Just me talking over images and making jokes and edits and just kind of giving my thoughts on something. I had never done that before and it turned out extremely well. The jokes land, the edits are good, everything is just perfect. The surprise monster of truth appearance was really just a left hook from nowhere, but I don't care. I'm genuinely surprised this video got me to where I am and also nothing bad will happen. This is just a, a really great video. Definitely one of my personal favorites. I'm going to put it at the very, very tippy top of the tier list. And then we get to the better video. This is a much better video. The edits are great. The voiceover is great. Hex did a really good job on this video. His energy in this one is just ungodly. I loved making this video and I really love this video. I address a lot in the video. I have really good edits inside the video. There's a lot of good jokes. The pacing is really good. There's just a lot to love about this video. I'm only putting it below this video right here only because this one to me is just much more iconic for what got me attention. I know this one has more views, but this one is just the one that like comes to mind. And now we come to Iron Lung is a phenomenal game. Not enough people know this video exists and it's kind of sad to me. I love the video, but I will admit the editing on it is not great and recording hex could have been better, but I still would recommend it. It's a, it's a good video. Good gameplay, good laughs. I guarantee you'll enjoy watching this one. We're gonna put it right there, a little bit worse than Pizza Tower, because the Pizza Tower video will always just be funnier to me. But this one is still good, don't get me wrong. And now we have Ruin Roxanne is scarier than this. And I don't care what anyone says, me playing FNAF 1 was hilarious. Anyone who says this video is not hilarious should be drop kicked. I love this video and I will not criticize it. Okay, maybe a little bit. My sound mixing could have been better. But other than that, I enjoy this video a lot. This is definitely a personal favorite of mine. And I'm gonna put it at the bottom of personal favorites. I, I love this video. Roxanne should be in this game. Me playing Ultimate Custom Night was pretty funny. You know, it was good all around. Audio mixing, editing, recording. However, I do recognize it's definitely not the most entertaining video. Just because it's high quality doesn't mean it's extremely funny. So we're just gonna put it in the very bottom of highest quality. And now we come up to, we need to talk about Roxanne. This video is slept on. Literally, I, I love this video. There's so many weird references inside the video that I make and it's just so bizarre, but I love this video. If you guys haven't watched this video, I highly recommend giving it a watch. It's a great video with some really weird cutaway jokes, but I guarantee you'll laugh. It also features me talking about how I got to this point. So if you want an explanation for how I got into FNAF, definitely go watch this one. Very high quality, I'm gonna put it right here. I, I don't think I could do the Minecraft parkour that dirty by putting this one above it. Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the best one apparently. This playthrough is really funny for multiple reasons. Me dying to all the animatronics was a great part. However, I do think my playthrough of FNAF 1 was funnier. I do think this one's still good though. Like it really has no issues other than my insanity. I'd say this is a decent video. It's probably the top of decent videos. I have a confession to make. This video is good for the sole reason that it is. That's it. The editing and voiceover on this one are good. The content idea behind it is decent. Basically talking about how I've never played Security Breach before. I just love the idea for someone to watch this video and their mind just being utterly blown considering how I scream at Roxanne so much and I've never even played the game before. However, the point of this video is definitely lost now. There's not a lot of reasons to watch this video now besides the few jokes I made in it. So I'm gonna have to put it in definitely wouldn't recommend. It's not really an eh video, 
but I definitely wouldn't recommend it. And now we come to the Security Breach playthrough. Uh, a little side note for all of you. I'm not gonna dwell too long specifically on these episodes. I'm just gonna kind of rapid fire through these. Uh, I'm finally doing it. This video is good. It's the first episode. There's better episodes. There is no Roxanne in this. Zero out of 10. I'm really confused about one thing from the Security Breach playthrough, which is why did I use a different outro music? Like it's the same outro music, but it has like a little bit of a different beat to it. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever. I'd say this is a decent video. It's definitely a bit of a slog, but I'd recommend it above these. And now we come to why am I like this? This video is a 56 minute feature length presentation of me dying to Roxanne. It is a great episode for that. Definitely one of my favorite episodes in the Security Breach playthrough. We're gonna put it right there. Okay, it finally happened to me. This first part of this video isn't very entertaining with the endos, but the part where I'm just sitting with Roxanne is pretty funny. And also the game broke and that's kind of entertaining to me. I'd say it's a decent video. I'd say it's a decent video. I'm gonna put it, ooh. I don't think it deserves to go below that. Right there should be good. Exploring the other 360 ASMR series. I definitely over explained the beginning of this video. Four minutes just to explain the Luna 360 ASMR videos is a lot, but that's kind of irrelevant. I think this video is really good. Recording Hex is funny, kind of. The edits are good, and the pain and suffering I felt at the ASMR part really got me, and I think that's really funny. This video will go right there. I think it's better than, I think it's better than Iron Lung. No, you know what? I think it's gonna go top of great video. I wouldn't say it's the most high quality video I've ever made. I could have done a better job on it, but it is a great video. All right, Hex still doesn't know. This video isn't my favorite for a lot of reasons. There's a lot of just sitting around and waiting. Me dying to Monty a few times is funny, but I think the rest of the episode suffers a bit. I think it's still good, but I definitely could have made it more entertaining. I think I'm gonna put it right above cooking with Roxanne Wolf. I think it's a little bit unfair to put the Sheriff Only Challenge 2 above it, but at the same time, that one's only like a 15 minute long video, and I think it's definitely more enjoyable. Honestly, there's probably a lot of videos here that are a lot more enjoyable than this one. I think I might be giving it a little bit too much grace. Yeah, that seems about good. I think that my biggest problem is I think I'm giving Cooking with Roxanne Wolf too much grace above Brink. Security Breach did something really funny. This video is funny because the Monty boss fight is funny and Hex realizing the game is broken is funny. And the mental breakdown he has about playing back the last hour is funny. So this is a pretty funny video. I think we'll put it, we'll put it right there. Why do I keep making videos on this? This episode of Luna ASMR is pretty goofy. I really like the intro. I really like the edits on this video. The video, in my opinion, is much more entertaining than the previous Luna part. A very good video. There's basically no flaws to it. I think it definitely deserves a high quality rating right there. I think that's a very fair rating. Roxanne raceway with exactly those pauses i don't understand why people don't like episode six this is literally a gold mine of security breach where i die over and over again to roxanne it's great i love the video i really genuinely do i'd say this is a personal favorite of mine but it definitely is not it's not as good as this one but i think it's just a little bit worse i made a huge mistake this video sucks i know i made it really low quality i know i did that I made that choice, but damn, I should have spent some more time on it. It's just not good. I honestly hope that the Roxanne voice actor never found that video and watched it because it sucks. I put it under why did I make this, but honestly, I don't, I don't. You know what? Why did I make this? Sure. Why? Honestly, why did I make that video? I really don't like this part. That is the name of the episode, not what I'm referring to. Episode seven of Security Breach is funny for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's funny. Number two, it's funny. Number three, I die. It's honestly laughable how bad I was at Security Breach in this episode. And I think it deserves a fair rating of great video. Right there, actually. Doing literally anything besides progressing the plot. What is this, like episode eight of Security Breach? This video is a bit confusing, mainly because it has two recordings spliced together into one. 
I will say it's a bit unfortunate that this video isn't the most entertaining, but it is a collectathon, so it has some grace in it. There wasn't a whole lot he could do to make it more entertaining. I think we'll give it just decent, decent rating. Right, right here. I made another horrible financial decision. I love this video for a lot of reasons. Not only did I try and perfectly mimic the first horrible financial purchase video, but I just had a lot more energy. I'm really happy this mini video brings me so much joy. I like it. I like it. This is definitely a very high quality video that I recommend. We shall put it right there. I finally did it. I love this video. Oh my god, the beginning is hilarious. The beginning is hilarious, the middle is hilarious, and I ended off by screaming at Roxanne. Like, this part definitely holds a higher value than most Security Breach episodes. Also, if you didn't know, it features Aiden doing the dirty deed for me and killing Roxanne. Just having Aiden inside the episode alone bumps it up a few points, but the fact that he did that for me was hilarious. We're gonna put it right there. It's not better than these two, but it's better than this one. Finally progressing the plot. I really hate this part. It has like one good moment in it when I'm like standing over Broken Chica and just sitting there going like womp womp or whatever. Womp womp! Womp womp! It's just really like a normal basic episode. That's, that's it. It really has like no hex flare. It's kind of funny at some parts, but it's, it's all right. It's decent. And we know where decent videos go. And now we come to This Place is Infuriate. The rage I feel inside this episode and the pure infuriation I feel at the sinkhole is amazing. Definitely an amazing final video to cap off the series. I'm very proud of this one. I did a great job feeling miserable and I did a good job editing it too. So this one definitely holds a special place as a very good video. I'd say it's better than this one. I'd, I'd honestly say that. I'd say these two this one's still probably my favorite episode of the Security Breach playthrough, but this one is very, very close. If I can be real before I move on from the Security Breach playthrough, I, I loved it. I'm very glad I did it. I thoroughly enjoyed making it. I, I really cannot just say this enough. My playthrough was so much fun. So many good moments and so many good memories. Like, I would, I would hop out of bed excited knowing that I got to record more Security Breach or I got to edit another episode together. I honestly have no idea how I was able to make such a great series and upload them like daily almost. I think I was uploading these like every three days. It's mind boggling. I'd recommend you watch it if you haven't already, but it's a shame it has to be 12 hours. I have considered doing a super edit of my Security Breach playthrough, however. If I'm really down bad for content, I'll do it. But honestly, I've rewatched these videos so many times that I can definitely go for like a few month break on re-watching them again and editing them up. Because good God, they are 12 hours of footage. But enough rambling about Security Breach, let's, let's move on to Ruin. This place is desolate. This video marks the first video of Ruin, and I must say, I'm not a huge fan of my Ruin playthrough. But hey, at least it starts off bad. I really don't like the first episode. It just, it's just, it, it bad. It bad, that's all I can say. It's, it's beginning is really long before it, anything happens. I'm just kind of getting through the game and, and oof. That's really all I can say is just oof. There's no Hex screaming at Roxanne to buffer it out. It's just him existing and playing the game. I don't even really remember if I scream all that much. And also, this is an hour and a half long. Like, really? I'd still recommend it, but honestly, uh, I gotta put it here. And I have kind of the same opinion for the second part. Where is Roxanne? This video isn't great, but at least it has gameplay and is kind of funny. It's got some good moments in it, but I definitely think it could have ended better. The ending was literally like an Unis Anis ending where there's some like really stupid thing that happens. I, I The one I'm thinking of specifically is um, anyone who watched Unis Anis. You know the Onion episode? That's tech, that's my favorite episode. And they ended it off with, oh no, Ethan, you're turning into an onion. 
And then he's just like, oh no. And then his face, they just edit in his face turning red. And I, that, that made me laugh so much because it's so stupid. It's so stupid. And they know it's so stupid. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe the ending of this where I'm just like, well, I don't know where to go. Whatever will I do? And then I just end it. Like, what the hell kind of ending is that? I know it's stupid. I know it is. But God, it's funny. So this one, I think we're going to put right there. I'd probably rather watch this than this one again. But this one's still not amazing. There she is. This video falls into the pit of it has one good part and the rest is decent. And I think everyone knows what that part is. I should have made a tier in the list for just like this video has one good part and that's it. I should have done that because there's a lot of these that fall into that. Uh, if I can be realistic, even after watching all of these Ruin episodes back, there's not a lot of distinguishing that I can remember. Like seriously, I remember that part four is Ruin Roxanne's piece. Part five is the conclusion. Part six and seven, I have the sickness. But one, two, and three are really just a blur. This one's the best of the three, but... Uh, right there. That seems reasonable. I have issues with Ruin Roxanne. This is definitely the best part of my Ruin playthrough. The part I struggle with Roxanne. Great part, not a whole lot to say, except holy hell, I hate Bonnie Bull. I think we're gonna give it the grace of putting it right there. I think that's a reasonable place for it. All right, Roxanne question mark. This is the quote unquote finale to Ruin, and this video was just so funny. I was thoroughly pissed, screaming, I was swearing, I was sad. I recommend you watch this one, even if you don't watch any other parts of the Ruin playthrough. Just watch this one. Just the swearing and screaming from this one alone is so funny. I, I cannot recommend watching this one back enough. Just me like swearing and screaming as I'm like upset about what happened to Roxanne. It's just too funny. I'd even go as far as to say this is a personal favorite of mine. Probably right there, which seems really high, but I, I, I just love that video. I can't, I can't help it. I love that video. It is, a, it is a great video. Trudging through the secrets of ruin while sick. This video would be better if Hex wasn't sick, but honestly, it makes the video kind of funnier. There's not a whole lot to say about this video, other than it could have been edited better. I give some grace to sick Hex. He really couldn't edit very well. It's a, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. I think it's pretty funny. Honestly, I think this episode's better than me just playing through Ruin, which is really sad, but right there. That that's a that's a pretty reasonable area for that one. And finishing up Ruin's final secrets, honestly not the best finale. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. I definitely could have done a lot better, and I didn't. I don't blame myself for not making this episode as good as I could have. I was still sick at the time. I kind of just wanted to be done with Ruin. If I'm being honest, I, I really did just want to be done with Ruin. <laughs> I finished it out decent, but definitely having to replay the entire game again really detracted me in the video just to open up the doors. But at least I still did it, and I'm glad I made the video. This one can probably go right there. I'd definitely rather watch it than that one. In my full honest opinion, my Ruin playthrough wasn't nearly as good as my Security Breach one. It was basically seven hours of me playing through Ruin. It's got good moments and some good stuff, obviously, but it doesn't really feel as nice as my Security Breach playthrough. Maybe I was just so exhausted of making hugely long videos at this point, but I really did enjoy Security Breach more, and Ruin just felt like a bit of a downgrade. However, I do really need to give myself some grace. I was really sick while editing Ruin together. Like, really sick. Like, I should have been bedridden. It really hurt my motivation, but I'm glad I pushed through it and I still made it regardless. The whole series just felt a little bit lesser than Security Breach, but it was still good. I, I still give myself credit, it is still good. And now, moving off of Ruin, we have Ruin Roxanne's design, 
still has issues. Coming back to screaming at Ruin Roxanne was a great idea. The video could have been improved on, obviously, as all of my videos. This is definitely the worst of the Ruin Roxanne rant videos, but I'm still glad I made it. It's still really funny. Like, it's just a good video. The voiceover's good. The editing is good. Not a whole lot to comment about. It's officially the third Ruin Roxanne rant, and I think it still holds the same weight as the others. It gets to go in the top of highest quality, but that isn't saying much. Exploring the other Roxanne content on YouTube. This video is really funny. I'm really proud of the edits and recording Hex did a great job. Editing Hex did a great job. I did not spend a long time on this video, but I still made it really funny and entertaining. It's a great video, like great representation of modern Hex and how far I've come from watching Monster of Truth. I really enjoy this video a lot. Honestly, New Year old me still holds more like importance and significance to me, but th this one is is really good. This one is a really good video. And now we come to why the mimic didn't destroy Roxanne. Here we are. We have arrived at the best hex video ever made. If anyone finds out about my channel and asks to see one of my videos, this is the one I show them. This right here is peak hex. Like, not even kidding. The edits are amazing. The voiceover is good. The actual theory itself makes sense. I, I really love this video. I, there's nothing else to say about it. My family watched this video and they loved it. They thought it was super entertaining and it was a really good explanation to a game series and a situation that none of them knew anything about. This is by far one of my favorite Hex videos of all time. Does it get above these two? Absolutely. I honestly don't know if it's fair to say this is my personal, like, favorite Hex video of all time. It's really hard to decide which one's my favorite between all of these, but this is definitely a good one. This is, this is definitely up there. That would definitely, at the very least, be, like, top three. Maybe even top two. And now we have overcoming my emotional trauma from this game. I like this video. I really do. The edits and funnies that happen in it are really good. However, I really should have tried a little bit harder. That's a fact that this video is 30 minutes long. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea if it's good or not. I like watching it because it's me, but I really don't know if anyone else does. I, I don't think they do. I don't think this is a good video. It's good because the funny moments are really funny, but the the length of it is is a is 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 yeah i'd say it can go right there that's a good place for it all right roxanne still loves me somehow this video is not nearly as good as exploring the other roxanne content on youtube and i think that's just inherent to the content obviously monster of truth got me to where i am today do i think they are peak roxanne content no this video is just not great I wouldn't say I put it in why did I make this because obviously I still have to make videos on Monster of Truth. It's just like a tradition at this point. But honestly, this is kind of just like, uh, honestly, I'd, I'd put it right there. I'd put it right there. All right, ranking every single FNAF animatronic. This video has gotten me in so much trouble. I love it because it's a great watch and a great edit and the jokes in it are really funny and it's really good. <coughs> However, my opinions really stirred up a lot of people. I know it's a tier list and that's just how tier lists go, but goddamn was this one a lot of flames. People hate my opinions, but honestly, I don't care. This video is a personal favorite of mine and I love it. This is probably a very high quality video, but it's also a personal favorite of mine that is going to go right there. That video also took so long to edit, so it even has more meaning to it, because I know how much effort I put into that thing. Today is a very special day. My birthday celebration holds a very special place in my heart, considering it was the first time ever I've celebrated my birthday on the channel, but I really liked making it. It was a very chill video to make, and I did a really good job on it, I think. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. It's just genuinely a good video. I'd say it can go in the bottom of highest quality would recommend. And here we have, this game will be my end. Why has no one watched this video? Guys, if you have not watched this video, go watch it. 
It is so funny. I love this video so much. I highly recommend giving it a watch. It has less views than the Iron Lung video, and that video isn't nearly as funny. Go watch this video. This is a personal favorite of mine. This is how high it is. This is where it goes, okay? Do you not want to know how funny that video is? Go watch it. Hex makes an excellent financial decision. This one is good because it's like a reaction video, except you get to watch me lose money in real time and it's short. It's a very good video. It's a very good video and it's just a very good video. I highly recommend watching it. I'm really happy how this one turned out. And I think the thumbnail is probably one of my best thumbnails. That's all really there is to say about it. It's just a really good video. I think I'm gonna put it in top of great video. It's a little bit unfair to put it any higher than that because it's a short watch. So it's, it's kind of unfair to put it up higher because it's such a short watch that of course it's obviously gonna be fun and entertaining to watch. But I don't know if it's really the highest quality video I've ever made. We have one more video to rate which is the best of Hex 2023 collection, and I can no longer put it down there. Wonderful. We're just gonna put it where it belongs. This video is a great reminder that no matter how much time I put into a video, it has to be good for it to be good. It's still a good recap, obviously, but I definitely could have done a lot better of a job on it. It got to the point while making it that I just said, screw it and threw it together. I think it still turned out really good, but it's a constant reminder that committing yourself to watching 40 plus hours of Hex videos and assembling them into a mega compilation is a really bad idea. Because good God, that video was a slog to make. And that's it. We've reached the end of the tier list. Holy crap. 99 videos all ranked. I need to stand up. Oh my good lord. I have not recorded in too long. My voice is gone. Do you guys hear this? My voice is still here, but oh my gosh, no it is not. Okay, okay. <sighs> Let's take a look back. Let's take a look back. These four and why did I make this? That's all reasonable. These are both great videos. They're not really eh, but I definitely would not recommend them. That's correct, that's correct. That's that's all correct. Why is this in def why is this an eh video? This should not be an eh video. This should be down here. Don't watch that video. I do regret making that. Did I did I say I don't regret making that? That was a lie. And honestly at this point What? Wait. What? What? No, it crashed. This is a joke. This is a this is actually a joke. Are you back? Okay, it's back. Thank goodness. Uh, I definitely would not recommend this video. This, honestly, I feel like this should be a little higher. I feel like these three should definitely be a little higher. Cause like, I definitely rather watch those three than the KO video. And I definitely rather watch those three than this one. And I definitely rather watch those three than this one. And I definitely rather, and that appears to be my cutoff point. You know what? No, that's not my cutoff point. That one was not that great. Toy Chica Love Taste was also not that great, but I'd rather watch it than this one. That's for sure. I think that's about the cutoff point for those. Cause I think the rest of these are pretty good. I feel like this one's a little high. Like I like that video, but it's not that good. Yeah, you know what? Right there. All this seems good, all this seems good. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Eh, eh, yeah. It kind of looks like B tier is pretty good. B tier seems pretty solid, set in stone. I like the order of how things are. Uh, and these are these are all very good. Yep. This this seems fairly accurate. And my personal favorites, yeah. All right. The tier list is done. I think this is a pretty accurate rating, if I'm being honest. Well, I guess I'll just wait an hour and a half for this thing to download. Why is this taking so long? Oh. I'm so tired. Honest to God, I'm just gonna lay down in my bed. I, I don't care anymore. This thing's taking too long. I'm done waiting. It's it's been it's been like like 30. I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes now. I'm done. I'm done waiting. It'll it'll down. Why is the logo? Whatever. It'll download when it downloads. Okay, screw it. I'm done. I'm literally so done waiting. It's been so long that I I literally forgot everything that I was gonna say. I literally forgot everything that I was gonna say to close out this video. Uh, really the only thing I can say is that holy crap, it has been a long time I have been making these videos. <laughs> Doing this really helped me look back and just kind of look back at how far I've come. And the only thing I can say is that, you know, when you make YouTube videos, 
you're not going to look back at every single one and be proud. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. This has been a very fun and exhausting video to make. I hope everyone uh, really, really enjoyed it. And I promise more videos are coming. I've got a lot of ideas for content and a lot of videos already recorded. And they've been recorded for a while. And I literally just have to edit them. Ugh, but I just had to get this video out as my hundredth video. But now that that's done and over with, I can get back to making videos. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope that you watch some of the videos that I've recommended you go back and watch. Mainly, mainly the HVAC ones. Go, go watch those. Okay, bye! I hope I sufficiently explained Reyna. Hopefully the viewers understand. I know I explained you, but I don't even remember, man. That was like, that was like two hours ago.